Skies have been mostly cloudy today. We were able to squeak in a little bit of sunshine, but you know, as I posted earlier today on Facebook with a visible satellite, which shows the clouds as they view from space with the light of day, it was selective sunshine. For example, along I-69, you saw more sunshine than you did along US-131. So it just depended on where you were. And right now, we're looking live at South Haven. A couple of things to note. First, you can see some breaks in the clouds with that orange glow. Another thing, a bit of a sign of the later sunset, and that is that now at 618, we're still able to see a little bit of daylight out there. And for those of you who are just longing for those longer days, there's a sign that it's coming, if it is slow. South Haven at 30 right now, 30 in Kalamazoo. We have upper 20s on the map in Battle Creek and GR. And check out our cold corridor there along I-69. Marshall, Charlotte, Coldwater, Lansing, all in the mid-20s. All down, all around West Michigan. From about 5 to about 8 degrees from where we were sitting at this time yesterday. And that's only part of the story with wind chills right now. As cold as 21 degrees in Battle Creek and also in Grand Rapids. And in the upper teens right now in Big Rapids. Let's look live, see if we can squeak out a little of that a sunshine setting there in our live uh, Peregrine Tower view, looking over Bronson Park. And no, it looks like it's too dark for one, but also there's still lots of clouds out there as well. But it is dry. That's going to continue to be the case. All quiet on live Doppler radar as well. Our 100 mile scan, not showing you anything here. You know, I'm going to jump ahead to Saturday morning because tomorrow, mostly cloudy, but a quiet day. But I'm tracking two snowmakers here. The first one bringing us some snow in here by Saturday morning. We're going to track this through. It is Saturday afternoon. So if you have Saturday plans, uh, just keep in mind, you'll probably need to take a little extra care on the roads. This isn't anything heavy here. It just sort of persistent snow showers into Saturday night, starting to wind down by Sunday morning. Looking at a two-day total here of maybe up to two inches, and that might be on the higher side. And, of course, that's not too much. Now, the second storm, of course, is what we're tracking for next week with a winter storm that by next Monday evening at 6 o'clock is going to be out here in the plains. But it's going to be moving into the Mississippi Valley by Tuesday morning. We'll be seeing snow showers, a mix of rain and snow indicated for Tuesday afternoon and evening, and that's when it could get really messy with that wet, heavy snow. And then windy conditions coming in here for Wednesday morning, and that also will be blowing some of that snow around. So it looks like a mess is coming for next week. We're going to give you more clarity as we get closer to it. We're still four to five days out. Mostly cloudy and colder for tonight with a low of 22 degrees, or five to six days out, I should say. And then for tomorrow, mostly cloudy skies. It will be warmer than today with a high in the mid-30s. Here's your Sealy Auto Group seven-day forecast. There's the snow I told you about on Saturday and Sunday, and then another shot of snow, probably heavier, coming in for next Tuesday and Wednesday. I'll have another update on that, by the way, on my Facebook Live tonight on the News Channel 3 page. That's at 9 o'clock. But in the meantime, what you need to know about next week is already prepare in the sense that if you've got some kind of travel that's planned that you could put off and put away from Tuesday, Wednesday time frame, yeah. then go ahead and do it.